Hi, this is Andy Braitman again from uh, Braitman Studio and Cheap Joe's, and we're going to talk about some tools now that are used in the encaustic process. One of them is a catalyst tool, and what I'm going to do is I drip some wax across these areas, and you can see these pools of wax here. And my goal was to, is to heat them up, and then I'm going to come back and use this tool to score into that wet surface and reveal what's underneath and um, perhaps move what's on top. So I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to heat this surface up so it's soft and, and mobile. And so I'm just taking a little bit where I drip the wax in and it's solid forms. And what I'm doing is bringing the layers together so they're soft and at the same level and fluid. So you can see how raised this area is to, compared to the area around it. So I'm going to just liquefy it and it may take a second and as it gets uh, to the same level as the paint around it I'm able to score into it with this tool so I'll leave this just where it is and then I'm just going to come back across and it's I'm going to pull one color into the next color and just then reheat it and let that movement stay where it was And I can get a more regular pattern if I can get it warm enough. There we go. I can get a more regular pattern and reveal some of the paint. Leave that across. I really like the idea of a large dark area. So I'm going to spread some of the dark around. And I can use the same tool to pick up some of the dark. Just spill that across, and while it's wet, that's what I'm looking for right there. I'm going to try to get the dark right off the edge. Now this is a warm tool, and there are the irons that you can use. So since this tool is warm, I'm going to use it. And I'm just dripping this hot wax into the hot wax underneath it, and it creates these nice little bubbles. <laughs> and this is going to dry just like this. All right, so we've used the catalyst to move the wet material. I've used a warm knife or an iron, and I've used the paint to drip it. Now the question is, how long will this stay, and what prevents it from re-emulsifying in heat or as it stands? And that's a really interesting question. There's some real stability on this wood surface. As soon as I'm on a canvas, the thickness of this paint would present a problem, but on the wood I'm fine. Uh, it doesn't dry like an oil paint does. It chemically anneals and hardens, and it's a different product when it's dry. Now that drying time may take as much as three weeks to four weeks for that annealing process to happen. You should be able to package that in direct sunlight and or hang the painting in direct sunlight and not have it impact on the painting in any way whatsoever because it has gotten to that, it's annealed and it's a, it's a different material than the wax that we've put down here. The beeswax has mixed with the varnish, has hardened with the oil paint, and it becomes a different product than the medium that we put down that's very flexible and pliable. Just like an oil paint that hardens is very different and it can't re-soften, the wax won't re-soften. I imagine that if you give yourself enough 
heat, you'll melt anything. But under normal circumstances, this shouldn't get in the way, even on a wall in Phoenix in the middle of the summer in direct sunlight. If it's been left to anneal, it should be fine. Uh, now the polishing process is, is um, you'll notice I'm going to lift this up and turn it. Uh, mo for the most part, it, as it cools, it becomes very flat. There's none of the liquid reflective surface you get. Once this is all grayed like that, what you're going to have to do is polish the wax surface. And you literally can get a, one, it take, it, I'd leave it three or four days to really harden. You'd get one of those buffers, an electric drill, and just polish the whole surface. And it'll polish up to a sheen just like varnish will. It'll be beautiful and it'll, it'll have a, a, it's really a fun cathartic process to polish that up. Um, and all of that luminescence will come back. But you have to let it dry completely and that could take several days. I will come back into this and uh, that's just a beautiful section now if you can see as that's made it more solid. It looks very watery, very real. I'll be able to put in some more detail on the boat and justify leaving this just the way it is. Um, and again, so we use the catalyst tool to move the paint and create a rhythmic surface. We used um, the warm tool to move and uh, position and drop individual droplets of wet paint or wax and paint into other molten wax and paint. I'll come back and draw and be done with this. Uh, and then that's the next tool. We'll go to it. <laughs>